150 mile an hour winds. That is a strong category four hurricane only moving at nine miles an hour and still moving incredibly slow as it moves over the state of Florida. This is just beginning again. This made landfall less than an hour ago, so we have a very long 24 to 36 hours to go before this moves over the state of Florida. Right now, that center of the storm very close to Fort Myers, Florida is still a category four hurricane. Winds have come down just a little more now at 145 miles an hour. But look at the speed. This is the problem here. It's only moving at nine miles an hour. So not only are we dealing with a catastrophic a uh, storm surge over the coast, but we're looking at the potential of up to two feet of rain across much of Florida, not only along the coast, but across central Florida as well as this moves very slowly across the state. Very latest track here. It is moving to the north northeast, but it's going to take more of a northeasterly turn here as it weakens. It will be a strong tropical storm as it moves over Orlando. This is going to be tomorrow morning and then it doesn't move off the coast of Florida until tomorrow, either late in the morning or the afternoon moves over the open water here briefly of the Atlantic, then makes a second landfall Friday over the coast of South Carolina. As of now, models have it making landfall north of Savannah, keeping that storm to our east. So although this is going to be devastating for much of Florida, the impacts here in North Georgia continue to diminish. So this is great news for us.